a gorgeous young police cadet never misses a single police class until now. After a girl's weekend, she hasn't been seen since. Ignited by media attention on our program and viewers' outrage, an arrest goes down. We are taking your calls out to Steve Summers, news anchor. Steve, what can you tell me? Steve, joining me from Tampa Bay. Well, Nancy, uh, the boyfriend, the ex-boyfriend, David Terry, uh, the one who was a suspect uh, in the disappearance uh, of Kelly Rothwell, has been arrested for the second time now on uh, charges that he was defrauding the New York State uh, Disability uh, Benefit System. He apparently was faking a back injury. He was, uh, However, he was seen playing uh, uh, windsurfing and weightlifting after this injury, and now uh, police are going after him for that. With me right now, Donna Sherritt, friend and last person known to see Kelly Rothwell. Also with us, Kelly's younger sister, Lindsay Rothwell. To both of you ladies, thank you for being with us. Donna, first to you. You last saw Kelly alive. What was her frame of mind regarding her relationship with her live-in, David Perry? She was done. Um, it was... Uh clear in her mind and um there was no there was no changing her mind she was completely set on ending her relationship and starting a brand new life and a brand new career with new friends donna share at last person to see kelly alive that we know of with us and taking your calls donna you state she was quote done why she had gotten really tired of being controlled and told how to live and told who she can speak to and who she couldn't speak. You know, the wedge that she, that he placed between Kelly and her beloved family, it was too much for her. She wanted her own life When back. you say a wedge, Donna Sherrod, what do you mean by that? She caused, not he caused like a distance he would he would control her and keep her from her family um you know there were times during his many trips back up to new york that you know kelly wanted to stop and see her her family who who meant the world to her and he wouldn't allow that you were seeing shots of kelly rothwell with friends and family, and joining me now speaking on her behalf is her sister and her very dear friend, Lindsay Rothwell and Donna Sherritt. You last saw her alive, Donna, that we know of. What happened that evening? Um, Kelly and I had a, uh, <clears throat> a yoga class together, and we had some lunch later on, and... Um, we said goodbye in the parking lot, and I asked her if I could go with her back to the condo to just give her moral support, and she told me that it was going to be okay. She said, it's going to be all right. It's going to be really good. I'm going to walk in there. I'm going to tell him that I love him, but that it's over, and I'll help him get through it. And then I will meet my other cadet friends, get the key to the house that I'm renting, and start my life. And that was the last time I heard from Kelly. To Lindsay Rothwell, this is the younger sister of Kelly. Lindsay, tell me how your family is doing, and tell me also your reaction to the live-in, the boyfriend, David Perry, being taken into custody on this defrauding, really close to half a million dollars of the taxpayer's money. Yes. Um, our family, the past year, has it's been very difficult for us, and we just try to go day by day, and we're just waiting for some answers, and we're really actually glad that he has been arrested. That way he cannot hurt and manipulate or control anyone else.